Kids, I have the best challenge today. I challenged some of our friends to a dance competition, but it's a little different. Whatever the last dance move is, has to be the next person's first move. So you kind of have to copy, but you still have to do your own thing. Are you ready? I'm so excited. Welcome back to another episode of Ask James. Question! Can I make a rocket? How to build a rocket? Now that's a complicated question. Ooh, James, are we using this? We are, but this is can, definitely... Hey, can I try it? Of course, I'm not going to. Anyway, what we need to do is we need to overcome the resistance, right? Using some sort of external force, right? In this case, we're going to use the fire extinguisher. Ready? I got a great idea. I'm scared. I'm gonna show you some force. James! Ta-da! I think I made a rocket. Right? Um, I'm not sure it's a rocket, but theoretically, right? You're saying there's a chance. There's a chance, right, that with this, the fire extinguisher will push backwards, right? And then equal and opposite reaction will push you forwards. To awesome! In theory. I'm going to try it. I, I think this is dangerous science. I think you better stay. Yeah, back. I think this is you. Here goes nothing. <laughs> Not a rocket. Now that's definitely one you do not try at home. <laughs> I love celebrating and I love celebrations. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't, right? There's so many fun things to celebrate. I mean, it could be last day of school, first day of summer, a birthday party, or you got a new puppy. Those are all really fun reasons to celebrate. And that's why these past two weeks in eKids have been awesome because we've celebrated other people and we celebrated our own gifts and talents and how we are unique. And today we get to celebrate the reason for all celebrations. We get to celebrate Jesus. There are so many reasons to celebrate Jesus. Like countless reasons. I can name a few. 
Ah, he loves us. He's always there for us. He's our friend. He saved us. He takes care of us. And as we learned last week, he loves us so much just the way we are, that we're unique and that we're special. And because of that, we don't have to feel insecure or jealousy because of his love and his joy. And guys, when we think about Jesus, there's a lot of joy and love, isn't there? Because of everything he's done for us. So we know now that there's a lot of reasons to celebrate Jesus, but did you know there's a lot of ways to celebrate Jesus? That's right, there's so many ways we can celebrate Jesus. We can be kind to other people, we can open the door for somebody. I mean, even when we read the Bible and read scripture, we're celebrating Jesus. Or when we go to Sunday, go to church on Sunday and we go to Embrace Academy, that's a way to celebrate Jesus. Or let's say we put some worship music on, right? And we have a dance party. We're totally celebrating Jesus. But my favorite way to celebrate him is by telling others about his joy and his love. You guys, when we tell other people about all of the awesome things Jesus does, we're celebrating him. Just like it says in the Bible, in 1 Chronicles 16, 24, declare his glory among the nations, his marvelous deeds among all people. When we declare something, we're like shouting it. We're telling people, we're happy, we're full of joy. And when people see that, they wanna come celebrate too, right? I mean, a birthday party, you're not by yourself celebrating. It's the same thing. Invite people along to celebrate with Jesus because then they can know his love and his joy. So that's my challenge to you this week. Celebrate Jesus, but celebrate Jesus with other people.